Hey Barflies, welcome back to another episode of Behind the Bar Liquor Reviews, Brew House Reviews. Tonight, got Link as always, myself Special K, and special guest, Justin. Old friend of mine, wanted to come in, sit in for Big Daddy, who is going to be absent for a while because of a new kid on the way sometime soon. And uh, now he's resting his vagina. Oh, I, I just didn't want to let them go. Oh, okay. After that Guinness challenge, you know, he's he's down and out for a while. So, <clears throat> so tonight we've got Genesee 12 Horse Ale. Yummy. This stuff has been around since I can remember. And in the 90s it went away. And it is back now. And it, they made it a limited additional season. Limited additional. Yes. Limited edition seasonal thing. There we go. And it uh, comes out about the end of summer, and it's very limited. Sells out quick, hard to find. And it's really good, too. I really like this. It is. Uh, we're, we all know what this is, and we're just doing this for your benefit because we all like it, and it's good. And it comes in these cute little pounder bottles. Yep. A lot of fun. Genesee Pounder. Got the Genesee G with their wheat leaves through it. So, that, whoop, sorry. That, look at Link trying to Sandy Vagina Boy. <laughs> <laughs> you keep that for me, I don't care. Here. <laughs> we'll give it to Tin Man after we're done. All right. All right. You can see it's uh, got a nice crisp tan gold body to it. it smells like a regular beer. It's, you know, just a American, what are these, lockers or pilsners? Or? This, is, this is an ale. It's an ale. ale. There you go. Ales are what, top fermented? <laughs> You know, this is an awesome beer, but you know, it doesn't, it's not as good as when <clears throat> you get it off it off the tap at the uh, Genesee Brew House. At the Genesee Brew House, that's right. But that's, it's still really tasty. Yeah. Um, you know, like I said, it's become a seasonal beer now, so maybe it tastes a lot better than it did from what I remember when I was growing up with it, just because we only get it once in a while now. Yeah. Because I remember you said when you were younger, you used to kind of not like it. I didn't love it, but it's it's come a long way. Yeah. So. Although Jenny's making a lot of really cool stuff now. They've got that Bach, which is great. All the Dundee products are awesome. This is delicious. Yeah. I've been really impressed. I mean, because I remember growing up as a kid, you know, it was like uh, everybody had the little Jenny lights in these things. And it was just like, really, Jenny light? But now it's like. They're, they're a good beer. Stuff is good stuff. And uh, all, all the audience knows that I love Jenny, so, you know, um, that just ends up happening. But, uh, yeah, if, you ever, if you're in Western New York around the brew house, they have actually a brewmaster now, and he makes all sorts of different things, porters, box, stouts, any of that stuff. Have you ever been there, Justin? Oh, yeah. yeah. Food? Yeah, it's good. Maybe. It's okay. It's okay. But I'm going for the beer, and that's yeah. what you're going for, anyways. In the ambiance, we're also yeah. going to get that view in Rochester. Yeah, and uh, great place. You can go in there, and for two bucks, they give you a flight of six beers. I want to say six or seven yeah. beers six for six two bucks. Seven. Yeah, and they're decent sized glasses that they fill too. So definitely worth it. That's what I did when I was there. I got a Reuben sandwich and a flight of beer, and was perfectly happy. Yeah. The one thing, the one food that is there that's awesome are the Bavarian pretzel sticks. Oh, with the cheese had? sauce. You've never, never had them? No. Wow. I've only been there once. Dude, they are so good, man. Just the waiter or waitress didn't offer you those right away? No. That's what they came up to me and yeah. they said, you have to have these if you have well, them. Yeah, I was there for a lunch meeting, so it was kind of different. I was there with yeah. six guys they, and they were all trying to self prep them. They do a uh, horseradish, a mustard horseradish sauce, and they do a beer cheese. Oh wow. And they are just so good and salty and soft and I'm in. Yeah, definitely. So, Link, on yeah. a scale of one to ten, what do you give him this? Um I'm gonna give it a six. I like this beer a lot. Um again, I, if it were the if it were tasting like it does off the tap, I would probably give it close to an eight, but it's not quite as fresh tasting out of the out of the little bottles, but I'm, I'll give it a six. I like it. Alright, Justin? I'm probably closer to seven there. Um, you know, being Rochester beer, that also gives it some points value. Yeah. Nothing wrong with being a Rochester. Uh, it's come a long way, but I know they have a lot more that I, I tend to be drawn towards. But yeah. it's still a solid beer. Definitely. Definitely. I'm probably just, that's my, you know, being biased. And I'll probably give it a seven and a half. Really good beer. Always liked it. Missed it when it was gone. And when it showed up a couple years ago in a variety pack, it came with a the Jenny Red yep, and the, and the Fife and Drum and the Cream Ale. Yep. And they came back with the Pounder bottles and 
it was just amazing. That's I was hooked on it again after that. So seven and a half, definitely. Yeah. So all right, everyone, if you can find this, you know, just uh, get it. It's worth it. It's pretty cheap too. I think it's like seven bucks for a twelve pack, somewhere right around there. Let us know in the comments below if you've ever tried it. Our Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, all of that's on the bottom of the screen right now. Make sure you give us a subscribe, share the video with your friends, and let us know if there's anything else you want to try. Thanks a lot for tuning in, Barflies. Have a good night. See ya. Cheers.